It's dangerous to dwell on past mistakes because people sort of define themselves by the worst moments that they've ever had. And if that's the case, like some people are stuck in high school. You know, they're, they're stuck in failures that they had like when they were first getting jobs and they always think that they're a loser and they, they don't like the feeling of failure so they keep low expectations so that they never have to feel that. You gotta get through it. You gotta get through bad feelings. You gotta get through, um, you gotta get through failure. It's very important and you get through it by just picking yourself back up and moving forward and going. It just, those feelings of failure are so hard. They're so hard to get over and they, they overwhelm people and some people can't get past them. And then every time some new thing comes up when you have to rise to the occasion, you have to perform, you think about that time you failed and mm. it fucks your head up, man. You think, I'm a fucking loser, I can't do this, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fuck up, you know? You know, you are not your past, you're you. You're you right now. Like the past you did, you might have done some things you wish you hadn't done. Don't dwell on that. You learn from it, that's fine, but don't dwell on it. Just keep moving. Keep moving. You know, use it. Use it as fuel. Say never again. You know, I, I get I get what I did wrong, but don't think that you're that person that made those mistakes. You're the person who's learned. You know, and th to have that attitude is a, a really important thing. And to not say, why am I doing this now? I could have been doing this my whole life. Well, you you weren't, so <laughs> the fuck is that going to help? Yeah. You know, you got to just got to not think like that. You just got to be happier doing it now. Even the regrets, the bad things or the stupid things, you learn not to do bad things or stupid things. You know, those all those things are beneficial in some way if you can get through them. You know? You know, if you like did something that rec that resulted in someone's death or some something horrible like that, yeah, it'd be a terrible regret. But I've been very fortunate that that hasn't happened, but the dumb shit that I've done or the bad mistakes that I've made, they've taught me. You know, you learn. Like, that's why failure is so important. Like, failing and fucking up and making mistakes, it's very important. You, that's how you learn. That's how you, the bad feeling that you get from something that you shouldn't have done or wish you didn't do or wish you did better, like, that just teaches you. I think I learned it from martial arts because you, you get your ass kicked and like you don't want to get your ass kicked again you either quit fighting or you learn how to get a lot better you know and then you get your ass kicked in training which happens all the time and you know you learn from those mistakes you learn you know like maybe you're stationary too much or maybe you telegraph too much or maybe you you got tired and you, you haven't been doing your cardio like those those failures that you have from martial arts are so consequential because you get hurt like you physically get punished and then you don't want that to happen again. So you gotta be either quit or get way better. People need a certain amount of conflict and a certain amount of struggle. And they create that struggle if they don't get it in some sort of a, a organic form. You know, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're not at war with the neighboring tribe or you're not worried about predators, you create this struggle with your girlfriend or with your buddies right. or you know, with the people at work, your coworkers. The more I create my own struggle, the more I orchestrate it through training, through, through exercise, and just rigorous physical struggle where you're knocking on the door of whether or not your body is going to make it through this. The more you do that, the more I feel like it minimizes those other struggles in life. I like it that way better. There's a lot of people that are scared of their ability to do something that's difficult. They're scared of whether or not they like you see someone who's doing something that's really tough to do and you go, man, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could force myself to, to be disciplined. I don't know if I could force myself to take that kind of action. Well, if you do force yourself to take that kind of action, you don't have that question anymore. Mm -hmm. That question, I don't know if I can do it. Well, you're doing it. So you obviously can do it. Can you do it tomorrow? We well, did it today. Or can you do it tomorrow? Just do it. Get out there and go fucking do something. Just do, Just go. And then in the middle of doing it, it'll become easy. Even if it's not hard, even if it's not easy, even if it's hard, it's easier than not doing it and wishing that you had done it. People are fuel and other people, it's one of the reasons why I like talking to people. One of the reasons why I like to do podcasts because I get a lot out of, you know, like just talking to you about your time in the monastery or your, your push to get to that hundred miles. Like you get energy out of people like that and you think about this energy and you think about this inspiration when you're doing other things and it also sets in your mind that when you meet these exceptional people that move you like what are the characters what are the qualities that they have what are the characteristics that they 
that they possess. And those things become significant and important to you. Whereas if you live around a bunch of people that are complaining and bitching about everything and they see the negative in everything and they're always whining, those people are the opposite of that. They're the opposite of inspiration and they're, they're just, they're, they're mud. You're just like, what? It's like you're up to your ankles in mud. You try to trudge through life. It's difficult. You're not light. It's not, it's not pushing you. There's not a wind at your back. The wind's in your face and it's rough. You know, you can go on Instagram and you see a million of these inspirational quote pages and they're run by people that are probably depressed. You know, you see a lot of people that are, you know, talking about how to get ahead in life, but they're not really doing anything themselves. So there's a lot of cynicism involved in that. But there's also sincerity in it. And you can get, if you just look at it with a pure heart and a pure mind, you can get a lot of energy out of that. And when you're around happy, inspirational people that are successful, it makes you feel better and you get inspired. And if you act on that inspiration, your life will be more fulfilled. And it's not just inspirational in terms of financial success, but in terms of doing difficult things, whether it's running a hundred miles, it doesn't pay you a goddamn thing other than the, 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 the wealth of the knowledge that you can push yourself to such an extreme or anything else, whether it's someone who becomes really good at playing chess or someone who's really good at martial arts or, or whatever it is. That's where it all comes from. It all comes from life lessons and the lessons are learned through struggle. And I think that there's a lot of people out there that think somehow or another you're going to get to some place where you're living in silk sheets and you're getting your toes done while someone's dropping grapes into your mouth. You know, I mean, this is, this is the world that we live in today. And I think part of that world is because we have been fed this line of horseshit that you're supposed to seek comfort. And I don't think you are. I think you're supposed to seek lessons and you're supposed to seek difficult tasks and, 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 and accomplishments and through those things and through doing things that are hard to do, even if it's just a fucking 90 minute hot yoga class, I do a 90 minute yoga class, man. I, those last 20 minutes, I do not want to be there, man. And I definitely don't want to give 100%. And I can cheat. I can, I can kind of half-ass it. I can, I can, but if I don't, and I get through it. When that time is up and the lady says namaste and everybody gets up, I'm like, fuck, man, I made it. You know, I lost 15 pounds. My fucking yoga mat is drenched to the point where I can literally wring it out and fill a, a, a jug up with water. But through that struggle, I will now have a better day and I better fucking do it again tomorrow or do something else. Because if I just think, well, tomorrow I'm just gonna coast and eat Twinkies and watch TV. Oh, hello, sadness, my old friend. Hello, depression. Because when you're not doing anything, you feel like shit. And that's just a part of being a human being. And we can pretend that we're something other than what we really are. And we can pretend, nah, me, man, I'm just cool, just chilling, doing nothing. Bullshit, you're a fucking human. You're a human being, you, you evolved from the fucking hundreds of thousands of years of hunters and gatherers and people that were struggling those re human reward systems are carved deeply into your dna and if you don't respect that if you don't respect the mechanism of happiness and fulfillment and what you really need to do in order to feel satisfied in life camaraderie love family friendship struggle testing yourself learning all those things are imperative they're all a giant part of being a person Thank you.